Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're, uh, for those of you in separation right now, we are going to find out if there is a second chance in this connection. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 1st of May 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 11.02 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in separation right now. Is there a second, is there a second chance in this connection? Seven of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So it's going to take a while, it feels, because the star here indicates it takes healing and recovery and someone feeling like brand new. It's a renewal energy as well. But it's actually leading towards more of a yes, there could be a second chance in this connection because someone is going to offer. When I say someone, that means it could be you or the other person. It could go vice versa, okay? So the King of Pentacles is... Uh, a very stable king, uh, a Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy. Your person whom you, you are in a separation with could be an earth sign, Virgo Capricorn Taurus, or could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, um, can be a Libra, Aquarius, like you are Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, can be any sign. There is a chance for a second chance. It will be offered, but ace of pentacles my only issue is the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups here in reverse there will be someone initiating um to ask for a second chance however someone is going to think about it with the eight of swords whether to accept it or to reject it so there is going to be a chance for a second chance but there is also a chance of either an acceptance or a rejection okay that's definitely what i'm seeing here there's two aces here ace of pentacles and ace of cups some of you it's there's this energy where an offer will be made whether it's you to them them to you an offer will be made but the other person is going to you know eight of swords think about it analyze it like do i still love this person do i still love this person or is this person still gen is this person genuine it's like it's almost like yeah my wish has come true with a star here this is what i want but is it too late do i still love this person is this person genuine so a lot will be going through someone's mind here when that offer is being made there it looks like there will be an offer yeah king of pentacles a pretty serious offer to reconcile and the five cups here in my first so I feel like someone is going to start to see the positives in this connection and thinking, yes, I think I want. Um, it feels it feels serious. It feels serious. Like not just I think. It's like I'm sure I want to give this connection a second chance. But only, my only issue with this reading is that, but someone might think about it. Might take a while to think about it whether to accept it or to reject it, okay? Because, you know, again, Eight of Swords is like a stuck thinking, analyzing, okay, it has come true with a star here. This person is offering to me what I want, but do I actually want it now? <laughs> right, Ace of Cups here, my first. Do I actually want it now? Like, should I? Should I not? You know, it's almost like something that we've always wanted at one point in time, but then when it actually happens, then you start second guessing. I don't know whether it's on your end or on this person's end, but you know, again, it could go vice versa. This is a general reading, right? Unless it's a personal reading, there is no, there is no vice versa, okay? And again, if you like to book me for personal reading, my information is in the description box below. We've got the four pentacles in reverse. We've got the ten of pentacles in reverse, and then we've got a death card here. So someone is gonna decide whether to accept this offer or not but the decision is going to be final okay the death card here it's going to be final 
if someone chooses to accept this offer, it could um, it could actually turn into something very very serious. Okay, if someone decides to reject this offer, that will be it. That will be it. That's the end. Okay, six of cups. Someone is gonna revisit. Someone is going to want to come back and reconcile. Okay, the not a sorty in one verse makes me feel like it's not gonna happen too fast. It might take a, a bit might take a while because maybe it's this person's energy eight of swords or it could be you just overthinking thinking wishing uh, and not actually take any actions that quickly because needing time to think to analyze first we've got these seven of wands here in one first so until someone feels safe and that they can put their guards down and only will someone uh, offer this um reconciliation offer this second chance offer this commitment loyalty taking the connection to the next level however another thing i'm seeing here justice in one first four pentacles and rest ten pentacles and if it's being if this offer is being rejected that will be it there will be no second chance anymore there will be no reconciliation anymore that's it you know again the death is like a, a major kind of and also it's like putting putting the nail in the coffin and that's it done finish okay if someone decides to reject that's it it's not gonna repeat that's what i'm seeing here the the offer will not be offered for the second time okay or for the third time fourth time whatever but for the next time this offer that's coming in for you are you gonna offer it to that person again it could go vice versa but if someone rejects it it's not going to be offered again there's no chance of a reconciliation again, okay? That's what I'm seeing. We've got the King of Swords because someone is going to be like, okay, that's it. This is it. I'm going to um, I'm gonna really cut this person off. I'm done. Or that's it. This is the only offer that I'm going to offer, last offer, and that's it. No more, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. And Seven of Pentacles here is in my first. Yeah, someone might just release end up releasing this connection the high priestess here in one verse understanding that maybe may, maybe this is too late for some of you see that scenario again it's like this is what i've always wanted at that point in time but right now things have changed right things have changed but there's definitely an individual here either you or this person Home is going to be like, yes, I really want to make this work. I really want to heal this connection. But the other person is not going to be too sure whether he or she wants this offer, this connection. The other person is not going to, it's not going to be sure about giving this connection a second chance. That's what I am seeing here. Because maybe for some of you, the offer is like, it's a good offer, but... I don't know, especially, okay, this part is very specific, and it's just for some of you, if if you have, if you're currently dealing with someone who has a, a, a who is married, this is, again, very specific for some of you only, if you, if you're separated from your person right now because they are married or still connected to someone else, there's a third party, then I feel like they're gonna come and say, hey, um, I'm going to offer you something here some sort of commitment but that offer is just not good enough for you and you're not going to want to accept it maybe to be the mistress or the second wife again this is very very specific that's just for some of you but another thing i'm seeing here is like someone might just say hey i've released my other commitment my other connection here i released it i've ended it and now i would like to return but then the Eight of Swords here again, it's like, mm, but do I actually want this person now? After they have let go of the other person, there will be a lot of thinking going on. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Hmm. A few different scenarios to take what resonates with you. Anyway, this is your reading, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you would like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I just saw 0909. Check out your angel number if you want to. You can go ahead and Google it. There could be some other important messages for you over there. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I've already mentioned. I think if you like to 
I'll mention it again. <laughs> if you'd like to book me for personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And if you would like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. But I don't want to disturb anybody, so you um, try to customize your notification, okay? Because uh, I post very, very often, so I don't want it to keep coming up on your phone or on your laptop. So you can customize it where you can either mute it or something. There's something that you can do um, about it, okay? Customize your your button, <laughs> your notification button. Anyway, take care. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.